What's up, Mon Files? Thank you We're back. Uh, this episode is a little bit interesting. Let me just go ahead and get started here. We're doing mission number 10 from the campaign. Now, I think I'm going to stick this video right in the middle of the playlist, but it's actually being filmed after the end of the LP. Uh, I guess this will be like the first bonus episode, basically. You might remember mission number 10 as the one that required, like, a, literally a dozen or two dozen tries from me. So, in the... <laughs> The objective, boss. First time we did this campaign, yes, it was a, a very What's complicated next? mission, right. and it took us What's a bunch next? of tries. And I believe I had objective to load, done. Great work, boys. had to load a save right. a few times. So basically, <clears throat> I, what I want to do in this episode right. is beat Come it again, it. and I want to do it properly. There's new research available at the research clinic. No problem. And by properly, I mean I want to win and win Great well. Work, I don't want it to be a, uh, one of those, oh, on that messed that one up, let's reload a save and try again. I want to actually okay. get it in one go. So I've already gotten both of the, uh, animals. It's just a matter of beating the bases now. Get that done pretty quickly, what I think. Would you have me do? Yeah, so, essentially, I, I learned my lesson playing through this the first time. Right and, and now I sort of understand, uh, we need more electricity, man. Now I sort of understand how how exactly I should have approached this mission. And I guess a good way place to start would be to tell you what my army is going to include here. I'm going to make new two new creatures. Uh, these are... I, I sort of had this concept where I tried to make an army that has all of its units that... Uh, they all cost less than 300 coal. And I believe both of these guys are in that, that army. So we just got the bull. I'm going to go ahead and use him. I'm also going to use the electric eel. I'm just going to make this all bull except for the eel's head. So this is a pretty good unit, I think. Uh, 266 coal, pretty cheap in electricity. 211 health, we're going to upgrade that. And then the lightning attack does 20, or rather 15 damage, which is pretty nice. So I don't feel the need to make it amphibious, since I only intend to use it for this mission. And plus that mission makes it more expensive in electricity. It's not going to help us this time, so... We'll make a bull eel, so he's cool. And then... This other one is... I don't know if this is one we ever actually got around to making in the campaign. I think it might appear later. I don't remember. <laughs> My memory's really bad. But I'm going to make a crocanther, which is just all panther except for the head and the tail of a crocodile. Now this is a pretty cool unit as well. Again, under 300 coal, just barely for this one. And then pretty decent health, a little bit more than the bullial. And it's got 25 melee damage, so it's nasty. Now they're both level 4 creatures, and... Uh, they both cost less than 300 coal. So once we get up to that, we're not going to have to spend any time or money researching level 5. I'm just going to use those creatures for the entire game. And I think How that I with a little bit of planning and some some management, it shouldn't, shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem. Exactly. You wanted is done. It should be easy. Okay, so I need to get my Hello? electricity production up here. Okay. So I can get to le my research done fairly quickly, because we need to get level 4 creatures out as soon as as soon as we are able. Add-ons complete. I turned the voices back on so you guys could experience this. Uh, <laughs> they do get a little bit annoying sometimes. I'm gonna let this get to... Oh Long hell, build. I'll just go ahead and do it again. Hello. You're the boss. I think that that'll be enough electricity. I'll probably do one more upgrade on this once we get going here, but uh... Let me make a, a couple more henchmen. Uh, the, the whole way to win at this is to expand, 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 and I'm, I'm already a little complete. bit concerned that I may have started too slowly, Hello. but that's all right. all right. Over here, guys. We're going to go ahead and expand to the other base so we don't get too crowded back here. By the time they get there, I just right-clicked on the mini-map, by the way. <laughs> that's how they know where to go. Hello. Yep, okay, I just timed it right so that they would have 250 coal so I could actually build this structure all once right. they got over here. There we go. Now I should be able to record this soon, right? Okay, pretty soon. Yeah, so now it's just a matter of getting our, our research done and, no and quick. There we go. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna research this because I like to have the pulse later on, so a lot of electricity is nice. So now that they're done building, they're all mining coal, right? Yeah, okay, good. So we got four guys up here. We got five back here. The ones with Lucy are going to work faster, so you want to have her with a decent number of henchmen near her. Okay, this is looking good. I hope we can go straight right on to level three. That's my that's my hope. Level two research is complete. Electricity is slowing us down, man. 
I need just a bit more. I might, I might build another lightning rod. Just so we can get to level 4 quickly. What is that, him thing level 2? Okay, good. Well, I'm already going to level 3, mm -hmm. so... I think we might have got the jump on him there. I'll get on that I'm a little bit OCD about putting my lightning rods near the, the lab. Ready, boys. I don't know what the real big deal about it is, but that's just I, li I like to do that. Okay. Gonna put out a few more henchmen once this research is finished. What would you have me do? A new building is complete. Actually, yes. you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna right get my away. henchmen really efficient as soon as possible. And they work faster with Lucy near them, so that's why I always build things with Lucy and a henchman. I, help you? I don't know if I knew that when I was doing the campaign, but it sure does help. The building you requested is complete. Gonna go that for the henchman yoke. Research is complete. What would you have me do? Gonna bring out some more henchmen, put them over here. What was that? So they've they've all they're all reaching level two basically just now. That's cool. At some point I need to remember to build a water chamber. Ready, boss. So uh, I guess it would be better to wait just a little bit longer to do that. That's okay. Okay, so we're almost there to get level four research going. Done researching. Mm-hmm. That was the henchman yoke. So now they're getting more coal, which is nice. Come on, a thousand electricity. There we go. All right, looking good. What does this cost? Seventy-five. Not too bad. Uh huh. Uh huh. Alrighty. I'm gonna do do that too. It's pretty cheap. All right, so we're researching level four now, which means once that's done, I'd like to be Hello. able to build creatures. You're the boss. And so I'm gonna get get things started here. Put down a water chamber so You're I can make boss. my croc anthers when the time Ready, comes. Boss. And put down. I'm just gonna put them. Right. Put them here. I think. Ready, boss. Creature chambers. Okay. So that once this is done, we can start making units. And I guess I could build some. You're finished, aren't you? Oh, Almost. Hello. Done researching. Come back over here, Done building. Okay. Done researching. He's reaching level three. Okay, we're about to hit four, aren't we? Okay, good. We're ahead of him in research. That's good news. I need to get my creatures out as soon as possible. Level four research is complete. I want to see croc anthers. Done. There we go. Hello. Get back on the okay. coal piles. Actually, you know what? I'm going to build okay. another creature chamber. Whoops. What am I doing? Ready, boys. Accidentally clicked off. Okay. Come stand with Rex. Let me put the way more, waypoint out there so they know where to go. We're, we're going to get attacked pretty soon, I think. So this is looking good. Very good, very good. I'm pleased with this. Alrighty. The critters are under attack. Sure enough, there he goes. What's next? Give, give him a hand, no Rex. Problem. Building's done. Yeah, go get the, go get the assholes. Next? I'm on it. The ones that are farther away, but they're they're gonna be the uh. Right. What's shoot next? him, Rex. I'm on it. There we go. This is looking good. Our croc anthers are doing their jobs. Oh, you guys, get back on the coal piles, please. All right. Look at that. That went really well. Those croc anthers are nasty. What's next? Let's go. Oh, don't let him finish building that. Do not want that? Yeah, in fact, go right back to what you were doing. Look at how much damage Let's they do go. to these buildings. 25 is just the awesome. Are there we go. What's next? Okay, finish him off. Sounds like a then, plan. Whoops. Thought we'd finished him. I'm on it. Once their henchmen I'm are gone, it. they really don't have much of a, much of hope, do they? Oh, that leap attack is nice. Catching up to enemy units really quickly that way. Alright, so now you see we've got quite a flow of resources going. And so it's just a matter of click, 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 click. To get our creatures out here where they need to be. Can I see enemy units down here? What is... I don't know what's going on there. What's next? Um, don't, let them, don't let them continue gathering coal or building sound towers like or plan. anything. I don't want that. Need to get this lab out of here as soon as possible. Okay, looking good. Looking good. The critters are under attack. The critters are under attack. Next chance, that That's alright. They're they're backing Let's off. Go. They're backing off. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> Just micro turn that one unit around. Getting Rex nearby here really helps too, so you get that productivity bonus on your units. He just hit level four. It's not gonna matter. My level, my level four creatures can be his level five creatures, so I'm done researching stuff now, which is nice. All right, now I happen Hello. to know that they they the love to go for job, aerial assaults. 
Okay. So I'm gonna put down a sound, a sound, uh, an anti-air tower. I'm gonna upgrade the anti-air towers. How can and I then you? it is time to start researching our creatures to get them upgraded. Building's done. Now we got to keep, we have to keep fighting the good fight here, basically. Keep Rex nearby. Let's go. Done researching. What's next? And if at all possible, no bring your units around to where the. Oh goodness! I don't remember why I. Tur now I remember why I turned the voices off. Rex is fine. So you can see our Croc Anthers are taking out the artillery units without a whole lot of hassle because they're faster, so they can get right up into the thick of things. Alrighty. Should've done this sooner, but. Bring some henchmen around, shall we? Our base is under attack. Where exactly? Yep, by flying units. They're already dead. See? Good work. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. You guys. I oh, you? I'm not microing you well enough. Directly. Okay, that's cool. What's next? No, I'll go get him. Right. Don't let him harass Rex you. See, their leap attack does like half of their right. health straight off the bat, which is just awesome. Let me pull these guys back. I want I want them near Rex here. I sort of just want to hold... Look at him just gliding. His, his animation's busted. Yeah, so these Croc Anthers are going to do the job pretty well. Let me put, put these down. Trying to get Rex to help out here with his, with his dart gun. So you can see there using their lightning attacks to their advantage. It's kind of annoying us. <laughs> Why are you guys not fighting? They're all just standing there. That's weird. I think the game might be bugging out a little bit. Yeah, you see I'm supposed to be making more units here. Ready, boys. You're the boss. That finished. Rex is being attacked. In fact, build the creature done. chamber first. Okay. Oh, Rex, you better Ready. get out of there, Rex. Let's go. Crap, he's poison. It's going to slow him down, isn't it? Dang it! I'm on it. No building is up. See, I've got tons of resources at this point. Rex is going to be okay. Yeah, that guy doesn't have a very good melee attack, does he? Only five. So they... Where exactly? Ready, oh, of course. Well, they're going to run by. That's fine. That's fine. Ready. Shoot that right. asshole. It keeps hitting you. Let's go. Okay, we're just... like going to pull Rex back over here. Get on those coal piles. Okay. Okay, so now we move our production forward to here. And basically what the goal now is to hold this line and not let them bug us at this point. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. I didn't expect them to bring these guys out so soon. These guys are tough. The Carmite Sharks. I guess they did hit level four. So you know you gotta do what you can, I suppose. I think our guys can can take out the Carmite Sharks, though. They're not that bad. Rex, get that artillery guy out of here. And then the key to victory here is what I'm totally failing to do, is to constantly make creatures. You have to have a better economy than them than they do in order to win. So I'm just going to have Rex hand back, let those three guys go and do their thing. It's totally fine if we lose a few units here and there. We're going to be picking up more than enough coal to make up for those sorts of things. What was that? I saw a purple guy. Oh, hello. Boss, you guys are going to want an anti-air tower. After me. You're the boss. I've decided that it's better to just take all of your units off of whatever... Our base is under attack. Yes, I know. They're just Don't hitting the anti-air tower. It's not a big deal. I upgrade. They're up, once they're upgraded, so they fire twice as fast, too. You only need one or two. Look at these Croc Anthers. They're so nasty. They, they finished off the enemy. Just the three of them. That's good stuff. And see, our resources are flowing in at such a high rate right now, I can just keep putting out two, two Croc Anthers at a time, all the time. It's going to work great. So pretty soon we're going to start mixing up our unit production a little bit. And less Croc Anther and more of a bully old. Come on out, guys. Ready. Get down Sounds here. Sounds like a plan. So now I'm going to switch over to Bullyels. Oh, what do they cost? 266. Okay. Keep that in mind. Oh, and just to really speed things along, I'm going to move the waypoint for both of these down here. The critters Ooh. are under attack. Learned how to do this too. Just a general attack move, just to tell your units just to attack. <laughs> That's nice. 
They got the artillery unit Rex. Because they're assholes. There's a bull in there. Just getting confused. Ready. Mm -mm. Sounds like a plan. Rex chance at your service. Ah, yeah, like trying to micro Rex here a little bit. Ready for Come on, action. guys. I'm on it. Sometimes with that, oh, look at the artillery. What a bunch of assholes throwing rocks at us. So as you can I'm see there, they're a fairly effective team, the Croc Anthers Ready. and the Bullials. Come I'm on, on down it. here, guys. Okay, so we're going to hold this for just a minute here. We have an anti-air tower now, so it's time for to see a pulse. See where the enemy is? Yeah, they're... This is, this is the next big choke point to take out here, is this blue base. It's not too bad to do, honestly. It's not that hard. Look, they're just like right outside our sight radius. These Clock Anthers can see fairly far, it seems. 20? I guess that's about normal. Because these guys that are seeing it, it's 25. Okay. Alright. So we're going to want a little more of a... of a bullial emphasis for this next bit. But the idea of my assault is that I, I keep the Croc Anthers in front, of course, as they're the melee units. And then, whoop, What's next? the bully is in the back. And while the fighting's going on, I just let the Croc Anthers do pretty much whatever they, whatever they want. Ready for action. That is enough for me. Let's Sounds go like in. A plan. I let the Croc Anthers pretty much do whatever they want no once they're problem. in the thick of things. But I micro the bully so that they hit one target at a time. Because that's just how the ranged units are most effective. Now, I will occasionally take control of uh, the Croc Anthers directly to say, hey, you know, you guys could should, should go after this guy. He's doing a frenzy, so you want to take him out while he's got that lower defense going on. Or whatever. And the idea here is that the Croc Anthers get themselves into the sticky spots and they sort of hold up against the. Uh, to keep the Bullials safe because they got a little bit more health. The critters are under attack! Okay, that was pretty good. Let's come back to here. Right. So you can see all the time while this is happening, you want to be making more more units. The are under attack. So they're going to try and chase you back here, but Ready for as long action. as you keep producing units Let's back go. at this place, or wherever your your choke point the is, essentially, on. you're going to do all right. Uh, I've got one of those things after me. Where Let's are you go. that you have the thing after you? Here, it's Come on, dude. You're gonna be fine. What's next? <laughs> are under attack. Quit being such a baby. Trying to get my croc anthers out front here. Yeah, see, they can't get past the bullyals. Make room. There you go. Yeah, see, another bullyal moves in and takes his place. Okay, come up, come up here, guys. Croc anthers. Get into the thick of things. Destroying creature chambers is always a good goal. Just remember to re-supply re your units every now and then. Make more of them. Where are you? Oh, crap. We didn't put any anti-air towers at home. Lucy's being attacked. That's bad news. We're going to need two anti-air towers to repel this. This sucks, as they're distracting me from what I should be working on. <laughs> Lucy's okay, isn't she? She's got about half her health. Rex is being attacked. That's, that's great news. Where's Rex? Where's Rex? What's next? What? Who's attacking Rex? <laughs> okay, see, look, our our units took them out without too much trouble. Get that guy with the creature chamber. Look at these artillery guys. What a bunch of assholes. Go take out the artillery. See the Croc Anther was with their leap attack. I know. They're not. They're not dead yet. There we go. Yeah, that took them out. Good, good, good. What's next? Get involved, guys. On it. Let's go. So you see the Croc Anthers sort of hold the line up here. We got too many resources piling up. I'm moving the, the waypoints forward attack. here. So I want the creatures to come up close. There we go. Who's under attack? These guys? Oh good. They went up there to fight some more people. That's awesome. So now we're going for the lab. Take that guy out, please. Yeah, they'll do that. He won't get that finished. Alright. Now as long as everyone's going after the lab, we're going to do okay here. See, I got the range guys going after the henchmen so they don't waste time chasing after them. And I got the melee ones and a couple of the range just taking out the base here, so it works out. 
Oh, look at this. We got some flying units come to harass us. Have to get our ranged units to take them out. They don't make particularly nasty flying units. None of the labs do, or the little ones at least. I think we can finish them. No, <laughs> he's done. Another lab down. The are under attack. Go on, Rex. Ready. Good work. Right. All right, so the, that stuff's right. secondary. Now we want to hold the line here, Come on and basically not let them ever push us out of this valley, essentially. Yeah. So we're going to destroy everything here, and just keep putting creatures in. Looking good, looking good. So we should be running out of coal soon. Yeah, back here. You can see that's almost pooped out. That's fine. We will have replacements, more units ready to fight pretty soon. Let's go. When, when the time comes, oh yeah, see they're always bringing more people in. So you want to get the croc anthers involved in the melee, and then I'm gonna micro the polios. Try to attack the units that are closest to them. Now the croc anthers do a great job in close combat. They have tons of melee damage, they're, and they're nice and fast. That's the real thing that makes the croc anthers effective, is that they are so very fast. And that means that against artillery units, they just run right in. They don't even have to... they don't really worry too much about... actually that's a horrible spot for that. Let's bring it down here so they're not in the way. Um, they don't really even worry about uh, the enemy artillery because they move so quickly that they run right under it. And then they're, by the time that the artillery hits the ground, they've ran right past it. And they're already taking damage. So I want to make sure I get my Croc Anthers out front. So I'm going to put them out here. The are under and then attack. the Bullwheels are going to kind of stand back by Rex. Croc Anthers handle themselves fairly well. So you see, trying to keep the units in two groups like this works out pretty well. Okay, so we're the probably almost attack. out of coal down here. So what I'm going to do is two more henchmen. We're going to move up and take these coal piles pretty soon. Oh, he got it with a rock. <laughs> Okay, this is going well. We got plenty of le electricity, so let me actually see what's going on. Okay, we've got some archery. Oh wow, these labs are not ready for us. Look at all these dudes. See, we got we got to be careful when we do an assault, so that we don't get screwed by those Camite sharks coming from the main factory. Because they're a big threat. They're a nasty unit. All right, so things are looking good here. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and move. How can I help you? Everybody, move them on up. So you guys are going to go here. Right away. This is not. Uh -oh. This is cool. I'm going to try and minimize the amount of time it takes for them all to move. Hello. Bring them up here. You're the boss. And then, it, unfortunately, it seems that some of our henchmen have been killed. So I'm going to bring out four more up here. They're destroying our building. Where? The critters are under attack. Hey guys, uh -oh. build build one more anti-air tower before okay. you go back to mining coal. All right. So you can see. Lucy and everybody have already moved up, and I'm gonna... He just reached reach level 5, didn't he? Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a second anti-air tower here, just to keep them safe, now that Lucy is there. Where? Okay, cool. See, I should've just left the voices on during the LP. They would've saved me from so many stupid mistakes. Okay, we gotta keep the momentum going here, though. So, oh god, I, I didn't tell you guys to build a workshop. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we don't want to run all the way back to the lab every time, do we? <laughs> I think they had just gotten there, so no big deal. They're also going to build some creature Hello. chambers for us, because this is going to be our new production area. No building Come and do this, this next. Okay. Hey, get over here! The are under attack. So you got to get the bullwheels in close enough that they can actually reach with their with their ranged attacks. But you don't want them so close that they end up using their melee instead, because I the think their melee is kind of crummy. These are annoying units, these high defense ones, they'll slow you down. So I don't know exactly which direction our assault's going to be coming from right now, so I'm just going to try and keep the group sort of in this, this choke point lane right here, and hopefully they won't be buggering us with our, our they won't be bothering our henchmen. Hello. Okay, loop me two more, please. All right. Plenty of creature okay. chambers. So I got two here. Yeah, see, I, don't, I no longer need these. I'll take one of them away from each place. Because I plan to never use them again if things go well, so. Hello. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna build that and then go right. back to mining coal. Alright, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the build queues on all three of these. Ready. Rex, I want you to follow this Sounds guy. Like a plan. 
going to fill up the build queues on all of these and just have them all produce units crazy quick. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Going to have them... This one's going to put... Oh, we've already hit the population cap. That's cool. There we go. That works out. Alrighty, cool. Now, Ready. we got the next lab. Sounds like a plan. We're going to push forward Sounds to the like orange one next. You see our units are in the right shape here, essentially. So I'm going to stop them part way so that they kind of queue back up a little bit. Get back together so the bullials are actually in range and some of the cock anthers are getting a damage bonus from no Rex. Alright, go get them. Right. The critters are under attack. So you see the crocanthers are taking a lot of pain here. Come you guys gotta move in close so that you can do Let's this. Right. Alrighty. The critters are under attack. You guys can need to try and get around here. If at all possible. Okay, this is going fairly well actually. So I'm gonna move the bull wheels in. The critters are under attack. There's Rex. Rex is in the back. Okay, good. That's where I want him. Let's go. Okay, you bullials are getting in the way of my crocanthers. There you go. Looks like they worked out okay. We didn't need that many, that many units, honestly. What's next? Okay. Note to self. Let's go. Make more, right. more crocan, more croc, more crocanthers. The bullials aren't taking right. a whole lot of losses. No problem. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna get the crocanthers to take out the chamber, and the bullials will basically do whatever they want. I think at this point, that looks good. And you see, as we lose units, they're reappearing. The critters are under attack! Yeah, really. I would never have noticed. Okay, so now we pretty much know where our attacks are going to be coming from. It's going to be coming from the red and the purple guy. So we can just keep these build queues full up. This is going pretty well. You don't want to let them continue mining coal. You have to make sure you defeat all of the henchmen and all of the... You know, just really take care of them. The critters are under attack. Have, leave no, leave no trace. Ready. Rex they never even seem to be in that much danger. Another lab taken out. That should make our job easier. Certainly will. I'm not going to take these coal piles though. They're mostly exhausted and they're in a bad position. It's hard to defend this place. I think, just from my my experience in the LP, tried this a couple times and <laughs> trying to defend here was a pain because there was two directions that they were coming from and. Oh. Get him. You know, actually, pull back here. Yeah. Stick, stick near your buddies. Okay, so once this place is cleared, we have, What's we next? pull back. We abandon ship. No. We do problem. not need that to hold that spot. So we're not gonna. Oh, look at this. Creature chambers down here. They can still produce if that if there's coal. This is a weird thing where if you in the multiplayer, if you uh finish off an enemy lab, they they can't uh make any more units like. At all, like once their lab's gone, they automatically lose. But in single player, for some reason, it's not the not it's not, it's not the case. I think it's kind of strange because they uh, once their lab's gone, they can still do stuff. They can they can't make any more henchmen, obviously, so they're, they've 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 lost essentially. But if they had tons of coals saved up for some reason, they could keep making creatures and just keep annoying you. Okay, so we have our build queues ready to go back here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get my crocanthers in the front this time, just so we're not getting them tangled up like what happened just now. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the next one. Part of this, what makes this a successful strategy, is you have to keep your momentum. Uh, you, you can't let them just hold back and build tons of creatures to to come after you with. No problem. The critters are under attack. See the boils are still. Hello, guys. Ready. Get in here. So you see, the crocanthers are taking the, the brunt of the... You know what? I haven't even done any research on most of these, have I? Let me upgrade their melee. So they're taking... They're doing most of the damage, honestly. Getting in close like that. Got the flying guy. Now remember, only the ranged units are going to be able to take out the flying ones, so... Keep that in mind. I'm just letting the crocanthers kind of one, run wild. <laughs> They'll do fine like that. Let's bring the bullials in. As long as there's another creature chamber up there, why don't you take it out? So these guys are going after the henchmen pretty quickly here. I want all the crocanthers to come and take out this other creature chamber here. They're the better anti-building unit. So while this is happening, anytime we lose a unit, it's automatically being replaced back here pretty much. Let me actually go ahead and I'm sure I can upgrade the... that's not the him. The Bullial's health would be nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this 
craziness going on. Get down here, guys. So the Quackanthers are pretty quick, too. Respond to threats. Where's Rex? Where is Rex? He's probably not even here, is it? No, no, he's back here. Okay, cool. Get them a damage bonus, Rex. They they need it right now. They're fighting Camite sharks. Oh! Now here's the nasty units. These elephants, or antifants. 500 health. With the, with the damage bonus from Rex, they're, they're not too dangerous. But, man, they can they can ruin your day. <laughs> Let me tell you. trying to keep a, a good mix of the units here. So we'll go ahead and upgrade this guy's range damage. So you can see if this guy wanted to, after the lab is done, he could keep building this creature chamber and build creatures if he has coal left. And even if he has a workshop still, he can keep gathering coal. And it's like, they're not out until you've destroyed all their buildings. This is nice. This is one of Julius's uh, generators. You see it's red, not purple. So taking it out is nice. I'm going to cut a little bit of his electricity production. Now we're not going to move forward again. We're going to pull back to where the rest of our creatures are, collect ourselves, bring in some more fresh units, and then we'll, uh, you know, mass for our final assault, which hopefully will be very soon. We don't want to give them too much time to think. So we'll pull back, we'll pull back here to the convenient choke point. How long till the coal runs out? Oh, we got quite a while. Looks like there's a lot of coal left back here. And this lab has just gone totally silent. Nothing much is happening back here. So giving the Quack Anthers a speed upgrade is nice. Get them to really move. Want to get them nice and prepared before we go in for the last assault. You want to be sure of yourself when you're going against Julius. Alrighty, so I think it would be smart of me to switch the Q point for these creatures to over here, where, where this lab was. Let me go ahead and just do that for all three of these chambers. That looks good. And then, Rex Chen, it's a simple matter to sort of line things up here. Can I get you all to come out here? This guy's being a slacker. Get out of there. Is he stuck? I don't get it. You can fit in between there. There we go. Get over here. <laughs> slacker. Alrighty. So this crew is ready to go. Let's move them back up. Right. You just, you just want to make sure they don't bring a bunch of ants around the other side or something and totally F you up the bum. That's bad news. So we're going to... Oh, yeah, here we go. The critters are under attack. Danger zone. No problem. So I'm going to let the Crocanthers just do their thing, and I'm, I'm going to control the Bullials by hand here. The critters are under attack. Remember to move their, your, your units in close enough that they can all reach. <laughs> you see, some of them are still running up. They're kind of the slow. Especially can, compared to those speedy croc anthers. Wow, the croc anthers got their butts kicked. That's because they weren't being uh, helped by the bullials. There's one, there's one croc anther managed to survive, or a couple of them. No, actually, they're coming from the creature chambers, aren't they? Yes, they are. Look, see, they're already getting filled back in. Let me adjust the production here, just to make sure I have plenty of croc anthers, because I'm going to need more. There we go. See, I've got, got tons of bull eels. The bull eels are doing fine. They're tough units. So I think most of his assaults are coming around this side, so I don't feel too worried about leaving my units mostly over here. So I think I want to go... Yeah, I want to go around this way. So I want to come through this little channel here. Let's bring the croc anthers around in front. And we're going to do something very similar now. Let's do it again, right? We'll go back, Jack, and do it again. No problem. Just keep moving here. No problem. Oh, look at this. Uh, some of them went the wrong way. Whatever. So you see the croc anthers in there getting nasty. Try and hold the control of the bull wheels. If at all possible. I thought the croc anthers just do their own thing up there. You see, some of them decided that one, one direction was better than the other. I don't know. Get him 
them out of here. We don't want creatures behind us. So you see the Crocanthers are getting up there and lining up and fighting, you know? They're doing like a British Army kind of thing. They're just getting two lines. Alright, get up here, guys. Where's Rex? Yes, yeah, so you want to keep Rex with the bull wheels. Man, we should have made more Crocanthers. I'd like to see them doing better than this, but whatever. Poor Rex at the back of the group. We don't want him getting killed. Alright, take out the one that's going after Rex. That's annoying. So you see, they're, they're doing alright. Julius has a lot of hardy creatures here, though. So you want to be... You want to be as careful as you can with Rex. I think at this point, it's about time for me to bring Rex out of here. So, we'll pull Rex back. The rest of these bullioles are probably going to get killed. It's fine. Oh, hello. Don't follow Rex. That sucks. Okay, that's alright. They're slow. <laughs> Look at the group of croc anthers here, ready to accept that ant. <laughs> yeah, so they got they got taken out. Those, those antifants are nasty, like I said, so... They're not as bad as the Croc Anthers. There we go. So again, keep your... Let's see, they all stopped. We refilled our all of our build queues. So I'm going to build... I'm going to say mostly... Mostly Crocs. Keep them coming up here. Ready. Looks like we're still Let's in a go. fight down here. Oh boy. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Oh, Rex is shooting them, no, shooting them too. Don't forget that you can do that. If you bring Rex in, of course, Sounds get your like Crocanthers that damage bonus. It really helps them. There's no point in microing the melee units because they're just they have to run around too much to get to whoever it is you're you're telling them to, to kill. There we go. All right, we'll be ready soon for another assault. I am for a, a while here, just going to try and keep the Crocanthers in front and the Bullwheels in the back. It's like a mullet, you know, <laughs> something in the front, something in the back. So you can see our resources are not exactly uh, running low at this point. I think we're doing fairly well. So this is looking good. And we're making a, we're making a lot of creatures pretty freaking quickly here because of our... Uh, whoops. Sorry, Croc Anthers. I get you in your way. Get you in your way that get... <laughs> anyway, come around here, guys. So you see we're just about ready to go in for another assault. In the build queues will keep sending more creatures up here. We just hit the population cap. That's how you know it's time to go in. Rex Let's do it. At your service. No Bring the croc anthers. You gotta, you gotta keep hitting them, you know? Time and pressure. Time and pressure. Keep pushing. They're gonna have more ants like We expect that. Like That's fine. The critters are under attack. Uh oh. Look at this. Who let these. I gotta pull back some of my creatures to come help here. This is not what's supposed to happen. You don't want the antifants getting at your bulls. So they're gonna take the bulls out fairly quickly. I should have researched. I should have researched more for these creatures. Oh well. These guys are doing pretty well up here, actually. Taking out the antifants. Where's Rex? Did we lose Rex? Where did Rex go? There he is. What's next? Let's go. Give, you, give your antifants some help, man. Trying to get killed either. Yeah, see, look at this. I'm gonna actually pull these guys back and just get them to be close to the other <laughs> the other units. Man, he's he's producing a lot of creatures up in there himself. He must have quite an economy going. Take out the ones closest to Rex first. It's always a good strategy, right? You see what's happening back here, though? Those those creature chambers are just bringing out more and more. They're not gonna stop us that easily. Let's keep pushing. Keep the pressure on. I'm gonna bring Rex up here, actually. There's more Croc Anthers in this fight than there are Bullials. Pretty soon I'll be pulling Rex out. You guys, I want on this. Right, Rex, run. Those Antifants are not gonna screw around. Yep, so look at these Antifants, man. They're going, they're going nuts. Let's bring some Croc Anthers in to greet them. <laughs> they just got jumped, man. <laughs> it's like they came into an ambush. 
is what you want, though. You want the Bullials in the back, you want the Crocanthers in the front, and if you can fight them at a choke point like this, your ranged creatures will give you the advantage, because only a few creatures are in melee at a time up here. So you're not, you're not getting, like, many on one bonuses like you would sometimes. No problem. And Rex is actually shooting these guys occasionally when his uh, no problem. gun it doesn't need reloading. Let's go. Of course, it also means he's gonna say stuff every time I tell him to click on. <laughs> every time I click on something, he says he has to confirm. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm excited. All righty, let's, let's move forward again, shall we? We want to sort of hold the line, you know? Oh, my my creature tamers ran out again. Make about half and half, I suppose. Rex, are you coming? What's next? Yeah, with the, no the Croc Anthers, Rex. Or with the uh, <laughs> Bull Eels, rather. What's next? So the Croc Anthers are definitely the no nastier problem. unit. You want to have more of them. You want to have plenty of them. Oh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're out resourcing him because he's making these smaller units again. And normally he just goes for the big ones here at the end, but a little surprising for me. At your service. Let's go. Take out the Let's flying guy. Land. Remember that only the ranged ones can take out the flying units, so if you're going to micro the ranged units, oh, telling them to go out to the flying guys is not a bad idea. Like so your plan. croc anders aren't getting harassed too much. Okay, oh, this is going well. Looks like we're about to push in and start taking out Let's creature go. chambers, you know? That's what you want. Uh-oh, coal piles are running out. That sucks. You guys are fine. Just, oh god, these coal piles are running okay. out too. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, I think this is it. I think we're, we've about got it. Get that chamber out of here. Where's Rex? <laughs> Gotta be careful with Rex. It's the only way you could lose at this point. Essentially, the only way you really could lose at this point would be if Rex died. Get the croc anthers in here, take out that ant. You guys, start on this chamber. Once the creature chambers are gone, he's gonna have a little bit of a harder time. I think this is where both of his chambers are. Freaking artillery units. Does he have more creatures back here? Whoa! He's got he's fighting us on two fronts. Holy moly. Are you serious right now? Good a boss. Well, that sucks. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. Let me grab a couple of Croc Anthers to come help these guys. That's alright. See, we're winning up here, so... <laughs> doing alright. These Croc Anthers are just going nasty. They're going crazy over here, taking out these Let's go. enemy structures. They don't even care about the air units that are trying to kill them. Oops. On it. This one here, guys. Rex is being attacked. No See, it's all bullials. I, I didn't make enough Croc Anthers, I don't think. Gosh. I was not expecting them to have sent another force around. Ready for you see, your creatures automatically go for the anti-air towers, because they see them as, like, damaging units, like a sound beam tower or something. But they don't focus on the creature chambers. It's a little bit weird. No problem. Let's go. Well, Let's did we not go. get him? There we go. Right. So I'm gonna look up here. I think he has another creature chamber or something. No. No sound tower. It looks like. Why? Why did you guys go all the way around? What the heck were you doing? Alrighty. Looks like we got him. So you see, there you go. First try. No big screw ups. That's, that's really what what you what you want. Just avoid those. Okay. Now my frame rate is scaring me. I hate when it does this. It wasn't doing it the whole game. And now it's now it's starting to. Th Threaten me. Oh, I already have one called Frame. Whatever. It's fine. There we go. So now your units will just start doing damage to whatever they're near, which is fine. Ready. Right. Keep Rex near them. The damage bonus still helps. What's going on back here? Hello. <laughs> yeah, our henchmen seem to have done. had had a hard time. That's why I kept Lucy back at the farthest back one. You don't want her right in the middle of things, I don't think. Probably a bad idea, you know. Actually, hang on. Let's see. Got the electrical generators. If he doesn't have electricity, he's gonna have a heck of a hard time making creatures. We already, we already took out his one generator off on the right, and now we're taking it out. Hello. What are you trying to build there, Mr. Henchman? 
Yeah, okay. Well, we won back here. That's good. We'll bring them in. <laughs> They'll just attack anything that's, that's around. Once you take out these generators and things, he's going to have a little bit of a harder time. We'll go over here and take out the rest of the sound towers first. He doesn't have another chamber, does he? Is he hiding a creature chamber back here? No? Okay. So we're kind of... I kind of got my units spread out all over the place here. That's all right. We'll deal with it. The critters are under attack. All right, this is looking good. Ready Let's bring everybody action. together here into the middle. Let's go. That way they're all near Rex, and then they can just hit everything that's around them, pretty much. Right. I think you have to destroy all the structures to win. That's why I'm not going straight for the labs right now. I'm just figured you have to hit everything, so... What's next? All right, I believe we've won. It's about 45 minutes of nastiness, but that's what it takes to, to beat this level without totally ballsing it up. And I didn't even get that much research done, did I? Let me show you how much I did. I did mostly the, most of the Crocanther, and I only did the health and the art and the ranged attack on the, the Boil. So you see it's up to 17 there. This is up to 30 and 288 and 38 speed. So they're so fast. What's I think next? the Panther's second fast no, after the second God. fastest creature after the Cheetah. That's why they do so well in terms of speed. All right, this is looking good. So here I'm not even worried. I'm just gonna let the creatures do their own thing. They'll destroy the buildings without too much trouble. As long as nobody's standing around doing nothing, you're okay. Should be about it. Oh, look at you! He's brave. Or stupid. Oh, I love seeing them all fire in unison. You get that huge arc of electricity on the screen. Not even what's causing the lag. <laughs> that it? Is that all it takes? Oh, the frame rate just dropped to like nothing. Come back! Come back! Please! Please, frame rate, return to me! Let me just pause and see if that helps. Da, 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 da. Was it trying to figure out whether I won or not? Was it thinking? I think it's thinking. It's thinking at one frame per second is what it's thinking. There we go. Yeah, I had one. It was just bugging out. All right. Oh, you're going to hit Rex with the train again. Oh, what the hell, man. I'm going to skip this. If I can. Hit the escape key a couple times there. <laughs> it's so bugging out. I don't even... It's so strange. Well, either way... I showed you what I wanted to show you, which was the uh, uh, how to win mission 10 without totally embarrassing yourself. So there it is. I think I, wow, I doubled the next player's score, and it was just tons of combat. Wow, we won out by a lot in combat, we beat everybody else, and then uh, like combined, and then oh, look at this, look at this frame rate. What is it? What is it doing? My computer must be doing some kind of thing in the background. Well, that just sounds horrible, doesn't it? Wow. So that's how it goes. I'm just going to turn this off because it's going nuts here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this better version of this. It might be stuck right in the middle of the playlist. Well, like I say, it's going to be like a bonus episode or whatever. So enjoy the nonsense. See you next time.